What's going on, you guys? I don't know, Dale and Sparta, 3910. This is going to be a tear down. So I'm going to move the thumb screws in the back. And you're going to slide to the left side cover panel. Yeah, so, so what you need is a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver. First, all I'll do is remove the front cover plastic. And this one's an Intel Core i5 <clears throat> CPU. That's a 12 gen. So, what I'll do is I'm going to move the three and a half inch hard drive first. Disconnect the SID and power cable. Now, what I will do is I need to take a, a mini Phillips head and you're going to move two screws right here for the optical drive. slide to the right also I'm gonna remove the screw here in the front here also with the front Fence route plastic piece, so you just go like this with your hands and it comes out. Now I'm gonna disconnect the SATA cable, SATA power cable, SATA cables from the motherboard. Uh, this is for the SATA power. The optical drive and the hard drive. Disconnect the RAM. Uh, here's the four pin for the CPU power. This is a eight pin for the power. Disconnect the video card also. So what you have to do is now you see this clip right here, the top one. You gotta take your finger like this, lift it up, and you gotta the video card. So that's what you have to do is you gotta take this. You see this clip right here, secure clip. Press it up, then you pull the video card. Take a mini Phillips head and remove the solid state drive. And the way you move it just simply like this comes out. Now I'm going to go in the back and remove the screws here for the power supply. Supply All the cables here like this. And be 
before you do that, you gotta disconnect the wireless card also. supply so now I'm gonna go to the front and see okay so it's got a power switch here also on disconnect here in the corner from the motherboard and I'll take a Phillips head screwdriver I'm gonna remove the CPU cooler heatsink Disconnect the four pin from the motherboard. <clears throat> the fan has to disconnect. And before I do that, I'm gonna take a napkin and uh, rub the alcohol. I'm gonna wipe it down. Now, I'm going to this out like this. I will remove the screws here from the motherboard. Screw here by the PCI Express times one slot right there's another screw. Also, you gotta remove this one also. You see that the SSD2280, there's another screw you have to remove. front the top side here in the corner there's another screw here one in the corner So there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A uh, total of nine screws you have to remove before they pull the motherboard. And before I do that, I'm just gonna look at the front quick. Okay. And you gotta pull this out quickly. For the 
SD card reader. And I'm gonna pull the motherboard out. Just check your hands like this gently. So you can only pull away like this. So here's the motherboard. It's got three SATA ports. Here's a battery socket, two memory slots, fan for CPU header, four pin for the CPU power. It's got a one PC Express times one slot, one PC Express times 16 slot, blue one. This is for the M.SSD. dot SSD. And this is for the wireless socket. It's got the HDMI display port, USB ports, audio, and this is for the front. It's like a micro ATX motherboard, but a little bit wider. And this is for the power switch right here. Don't forget, guys. Look at the back side. And be the last part is uh, removing the CPU. this gently and pull it and be the last part guys it will be the power switch see the front let's take a flat screwdriver like this power switch so you guys this be the end of the video thanks for watching bye